right in this video, I want to talk about race. Like, what does the word race really mean? Like, a lot of these words we use every day have a lot of hidden etymology behind it. There was this this um documentary that was breaking down the hidden meanings behind a lot of the words we use every day. Like, the word black, which means to lack. Like, why the hell would you want to call yourself black? It, it seems like a lot of people are, are so attached to these terms, you know, these labels. Yeah, but a lot of these, you know, these you know these terminologies come from the nephilims these these social constructs like race i don't even think race is real i think it's a social construct created by the nephilims to cause division between the humans your so-called race which is your hair texture your skin tone your eyes only three percent of your dna is responsible for that there's no such thing as race you're either a human a nephilim or a hybrid you like my girl in Jamaica was telling me she's seen a white man turn pitch black, and she was telling me that most, you know, black people or melanated people are are reptilians. And to be honest with you, I don't feel no special connection with most of the melanated people I come in contact with. I don't really care, you know, for most people's energy around me. You know, there's certain people when I'm in the store I don't want to check out with them. You know, I. But yeah, you're gonna have to have more going on than a certain skin tone or hair texture. You know, for me to consider you one of my people, you know, you're either a human or a demon. That's how it is with me. I don't care about your nationality. These matter of fact, I think these damn Nephilims and Archons decide what nationalities we're going to be. It's all pre-planned for us. They decide what geographical lo geographical locations we're going to be born at. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this person over here in Australia. I'm going to put you in Jamaica. I'm going to put you in Philadelphia. You're going to be born to so-and-so types of parents. You're going to have these siblings. You're going to encounter these people throughout your journey in life. You're going to have these obstacles. It's all pre-planned for us. Yeah, and a lot of this stuff you see in the news, you know, your Trayvon Martins and your George Floyds, it's all Nephilim smoke and mirrors. These, these people are not your people. They don't have nothing to do with you as a human. And a lot of times these people don't even really die. They just go on to play different roles. And matter of fact, these people might not even be real to begin with. They might just be holograms, holographic, you know, projections being projected by the moon. But yeah, all this hate being flung at people of different races, you know, nationalities, creeds, it's, it's, it's all Nephilim BS. It ain't got nothing to do with you as a human, you know? It don't, ha it don't have nothing to do with you as a source being. It's all Nephilim social constructs created to cause division. You're not a, um, a race or a nationality. You're a light being. You're a source being. Anything else is an illusion. I'm thinking about this fool talking about some other black people. You must be talking about yourself. I don't consider these motherfuckers my people. Just because they got a certain skin tone. That's why I think that term, all skin folks, and kin folks is a stupid term. Because these soulless people don't even have the same skin tone as you. And most of the time, it's damn Nephilim slime under the skin. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say.